Hi friends, it's Miss Laurel. Today we're going to read a story about the rainforest. It's called Rainforest by Helen Coucher. Many creatures dwell in the rainforest. There are sloths, tapins, and anteaters, and blue morpha butterflies. Toucans, macaws, and monkeys live in the in the forest canopy. There is plenty of food and water for all the creatures, whether they make their home in the trees or on the ground. One day the forest stirred. From afar, there came a terrible tale. The birds had lost their perches. All the trees were falling down. Oh no. What do you think made the trees fall down? Toucan heard this mess heard this message with deep foreboding. Sloth also was worried. He felt rumblings in the forest. A strange scent floated on the wind, causing the blue morpho butterflies to flutter higher among the treetops. The macaws too sensed something sinister in the air. The anteaters stopped forging and crept into the undergrowth. Tapers trotted off into the shadows. Howler monkey screeched a warning to his fellows. They heard him miles away. Jaguar roared with fury and with fury and sped through the trees. The animals shuddered. Jaguar was the most powerful creature in the rainforest. But something even more powerful was threatening their world. Machines Cutting and spoiling. Oh no. What do you think the machines are doing? Jaguar heard a voice. Go to high ground, it said. Go to high ground. The rain the rains came as the animals made their way higher and higher. Fear drove them on. Then the floods came. There were no trees to hold the soil in place, so the river burst, burst its banks. The machine was washed away. But the creatures of the rainforest were safe. The animals looked down on the swirling water, the broken tree trunks, and the muddy banks, and they wondered how the tall trees would be there to guard them.
the end. So it's very important that we keep our rainforest safe and our parks clean because when people cut down the trees, then there's no trees left. So then the animals don't have a home. Thanks friends. I'll see you later.